This kind of glass effect is boring, so let's learn how to make these refraction effects in After Effects. We're gonna start with this refraction, and I was inspired by this post by Martin Newman when I made it, and I gotta say, even I was surprised by how I got to the final result. So to start, we need a sexy circle, and this one is animating side to side. And how sexy you make your circle, I'll leave up to you. But obviously, the sexier the better. If you're not turned on by your work, why even make it? And before I get the circle pregnant, let's move on by creating a shape layer like this. And then we're going to add a wave warp effect. Let's set the type to uncircle, the height to 60, and then the width is going to affect the distance between our refractions, so let's make it 50. Then we need to make sure that the wave speed is set to zero. Now we need to make this an adjustment layer by clicking this button. And we're already getting a pretty wild result, but it's not exactly what we're looking for. So to get what we want, let's first resize this shape layer so that its width is the same as a single wave by scaling it down on the x-axis as required. And if you need to, go to decimal places. If this is slightly off, it'll affect the quality of your results. So now that we have a single wavelength, we can simply move the shape layer over to the precise point that the effect starts to align with the original circle layer, as you can see. Now we can duplicate this and move it to the next point where it aligns, and so on and so forth until we cover the entire comp with these adjustment layers. You should fine tune these as needed to make sure the effect is seamless. And how satisfying is that? Now this does also affect the background, which is annoying, so if you have a fix for that, let us all know in the comments. But what I did was simply pre-comp everything and then cover the edges with the duplicate of the background comp where I masked out everything but the top and bottom edges with a bit of feather. And I don't know about you, but when I see a cool effect like this, it makes me want to do something with it. And there's no better way to do that than creating some sexy personal work. But coming up with ideas for this can be hard and time consuming, especially when you want to jump right in to making dope motion design. That's why I created the Motion Practice Quest, to allow you to make personal work really easily and help you create an even better portfolio, build your social media, and unlock higher paying work. So if that sounds good to you, check out the Motion Practice Quest now with the link in the description. Now let's get to the next refraction effect. Of course, we have some more sexy circles and I'm beginning to think that they are the key ingredient for any good animation. So for starters, I made a map to drive the displacement. So let's go into the gradient map to the bottom child comp. Here we have a shape layer with a black and white gradient going from left to right. The comp has also been cropped to the size of the shape layer. Let's go up a level and you can see the pre-comped gradient which I placed all the way to the left. Then we can add a CC Repertile effect to this comp and expand to the right. Now there's a little gap on the right which we can fix by making sure the comp's anchor point is on the left, unlinking the scale and scaling up the X value to 102. And now our map is done. Back in the main comp, let's turn this layer back on and I just scaled this up on the Y axis so that it's the height of the comp as you can see. I also click this checkbox to collapse transformations and that's important for our displacement effect. Now let's hide this layer and add an adjustment layer for our displacement. Then we can drop in the displacement map effect and change the map to the gradient map comp. For the correct final result, we want to remove any vertical displacement and increase the horizontal displacement to around 20. Then we can add a fast box blur to the adjustment layer as well. We can set this to 30 and then make sure it is only a vertical blur by selecting vertical from this drop down. And now we're getting something interesting. For the final touch, I created a completely unique version of the gradient map layer and I use True Comp Duplicator for this because it also makes unique versions of the nested comps so I don't break my original gradient map. Let me show you the difference between the two. So in the bottommost child layer, I changed the gradient so that it's white on either side, but I made the opacity zero on the right, and that's pretty much it. Everything else is the same. So in the main comp, let's turn this on and you can see what we get. Now we just need to change the blending mode to overlay and the opacity to 40% to create the final look. Then for fun, I created a third variation where I just shifted the gradient maps and adjustment layer to the right and created a shape layer on the side to make it look like a piece of glass. I just thought this looked cool and it's something fun you can experiment with. Grab the project files for free below and again, if you want to create some epic personal work with these techniques, check out the Motion Practice Quest to get started.